Welcome to the ADHD podcast where I have two things on the screen at once because one is not enough to occupy my brain processes. <laughs> I'm, on the right here I've got slow roads and on the left I've got mind test 5.6.0 multiplayer. Uh, this is my little dungeon. Uh, that's my bed. That's my bookshelf. And I've got some quotes on the wall here. Let's read some quotes. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken by Oscar Wilde. Quote number two, everybody talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it, by Charles Dudley Warner. Quote number three, what's another word for thesaurus? Stephen Wright. That was pretty funny. Let's go to the surface. I don't know why. Let's, uh, oh, actually, I do know why. We're going on an adventure to collect blueberries. There's two types of blueberries in this world. One, one is a, a wild blueberry and the other is just blueberry. Uh, do I have an example of that? Oh, here's one of them. I think this one is wild blueberry, and my inventory is very full. Yeah, this is wild blueberries. It's just uh, six little blue dots. I need to like unload my, inven um, uh, unload my inventory real quick. Let me just dump it in this chest. Dump, 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 dump. We don't need all this stuff. I'll take the sword though. This is a... oh wait, no. It's this diamond pickaxe that I found in a mine. It was just... I don't know why it was there. It was just on the ground. Random drop from a mob? I'm not really sure. Okay, let's go with all that. Uh, I'm not really looking too much at what I have. Maybe I don't have enough, but we're gonna have an adventure searching for blueberries. So I've been thinking about um, the network state, which is a concept concept introduced by Balaji, or no, it's Balaji, Balaji S. Uh, I think it's Srin Srinivasan. I don't know. I'll just say S. Really cool guy. I actually had the pleasure of uh, taking one of his co uh, college courses. Yeah, college courses through Stanford Coursera. Coursera, Stanford, I don't know which one makes sense to put first, but I, uh, this course is no longer available on Coursera, so it's like a special <laughs> special thing that I got to do. It, it was a course that was available in like 2014, 2015, somewhere in there, or was it 2013? I can't remember. But it's vaporware, and I was uh, blessed enough to have taken this course. It was uh, Startup Engineering, in which I learned um, Emacs, the code editor, and um, just some concepts about starting a business. Another interesting thing I heard was entrepreneurs work for free. And there was more to that quote, but I can't remember it. Like, you know, most people work for money, entrepreneurs work for free. And uh, why, did I, why did I even bring this up? Because I don't know the point. What's the point? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at that random floating block in the sky. There are random floating blocks in the sky in this world. <clears throat> and I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's see, what else is going on? Oh yeah, I was uh, I was laughing at my diet. Like, my diet lately has been um, rice cakes, um, chocolate, and peanut butter, um, like energy bars, and... My mouth is watering even thinking about this. What else? Um, what's the third thing? The third thing is, oh yes, dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Oh, we're losing altitude. We've lost our momentum. There's some mushrooms. But we're not looking for mushrooms. I'm looking for wild blue, or no, regular blueberries. Regular blueberries are actually purplish. What just happened? Why is my... Why why is my glider not deploying? Oh, I bet I'm I bet I'm disconnected from the server. Mm, this happens sometimes. My internet is not very good. Uh oh yeah, that reminds me. I've been wanting to stream. Like I, I set a day, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stream every Wednesday. Once a week on Wednesday at noon. And I actually Yep, I called it. Connection time hell. Uh I wanna stream um Wednesday at noon, and that was just going to be my thing, and I actually went up on a local nature area, it's uh, Salty's Uplands Conservation Area, one of my 
favorite places to go hiking and I took my bike up there for the first time and <clears throat> my heart was beating so hard I, I tried to get up to the top of the hill as fast as possible because I wanted to get there by noon and I brought um, I brought this thing I actually sold this on eBay uh, unfortunately I, I cannot afford to keep it but this is a Beast Grip Pro it's like a, a an adapter to adapt a Canon lens this is not a Canon lens this is just the adapter the f uh, depth of field adapter um, yeah I, I bought this and this lens look at this lens oh it's caught on the tripod caught on the tripod okay this lens look this lens is huge it's not even gonna fit in the frame I know the frame it's a very small frame but giant lens 500 millimeter lens from the 70s or 80s or something like that and uh, goes on here very long and I went up, up on the hill and got some cool shots but it wasn't very good footage and I thought I was streaming the whole time but it ended up being that I wasn't streaming at all packets weren't making it to twitch anyway <laughs> I'm giving up on the streaming for now just because I don't have good network connectivity as demonstrated by the fact that I was disconnected from my test. Um, where was I going with that? I forget where I was going with that. Oh yeah, uh, I wanted to stream, but I can't. So I'm just gonna do the eBay, or not <laughs> do the YouTube thing. Gonna do the YouTube thing and just think of it like I'm journaling and having fun in mind test and this could be a podcast where I talk to other people while we're playing mind test and <laughs> I don't know that's a that's a bigger goal the step zero goal is just to make videos yeah let's connect here to the server see if we can connect again yep Th uh, this computer has a strange issue sometimes uh, uh, like when it's doing a lot of intensive data processing like rendering videos sometimes it just gets into this state where uh like SS I get SSL errors and can't connect to websites can't connect to mind test and the only way to fix it is just reboot uh very strange issue I'm assuming it's hardware related maybe it's the OS related I, I guess yeah I don't know Computers are complex, complex, complicated. It's two in the morning. I don't usually stay up this late. Uh, well, I guess it's, I've been trending towards staying up later, probably because of just the changing weather, changing seasons, and maybe a little bit of seasonal depression. But the way I, the way I've always countered depression, like my the, the best way to do that for me is just exercise and I've been doing a lot of cycling like I s ride my bike six days a week not even exaggerating uh, <laughs> just like there's a certain point at the day when my body's just so energized I'm like I gotta go now I, I gotta go I gotta go it's just like my body is ready to go on a, a bike ride also another thing is like socializing that's always helped me with um, anti-depression but I've not been doing that not at all I'm like going months at a time without having conversations with people M weeks I'm exaggerating there I'm exaggerating there but look at this jittering I don't like the jittering man D time jitter 12.4 that's actually acceptable it gets bad when it's over like a hundred but ugh, what is that I don't like that thought I was going to die there. Oh, the sun is setting. We're looking for blueberries. Man, I'm rubber banding. That's what it is. I, I just said jitter, but it's more like rubber banding. That's probably just my network. Just my network. This is peaceful. Uh, this is my favorite thing to do in mind test. Just fly around my glider. Oh yeah, my ping. Ping is 81 milliseconds. That's not bad. Oh, look at this golem thing. Let's fight this golem thing. 
They have really good drops. A lot of hit points though. Whoa, rubber banding. 65 hit points. This one isn't much of a threat because he doesn't launch projectiles. There's one that launches uh Oh, a Misi Crystal. See what I see what I mean? Very good drops. Misi Crystal is one of the best uh, ores in this game. I don't know if it's really technically an ore, but you can make all sorts of good stuff with it. And it's probably the most rare ore to find in the earth. In the ground. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't know. My my head's kinda empty. Um uh I don't have much to talk about right now. <laughs> I've just been listening to a lot of podcasts. Uh, I started... Oh yeah, the one with uh, Balaji. Um, seven hours. Seven hours, 50 minutes. I watched the whole thing. It took me like three days to watch the whole thing. And it was really good. And I've never seen Lex Frid Friedman... I almost mispronounced the name. <gasps> Obsidian just on the on the surface? I cannot believe this. What, is something attacking me? Yes. Skeleton, and I'm low on health. And it was kind of like partially blinded by those waypoints in the in the distance. Right, the 7 hour, 50 minute podcast was so good. I've never seen Lex Friedman look so uh, exhausted. Apparently he was hung over, but I've never seen him look so exhausted. It looked like he was ready to fall asleep. And it looked like he wanted to end the podcast, but he he never complained once that he was tired. What a Chad. He's really good uh, at his job, and I look up to him. And I'm really excited to get this obsidian because I want obsidian armor. It's probably the coolest looking armor in the game. Oh, yes. It's just right here... It, low risk, don't have to go in the earth right next to lava, don't have to create my own obsidians just right here. And I have this convenient diamond pickaxe that I got for free. <laughs> it's just on the ground in a cave to mine it. Oh man, I'm going to make a lot of obsidian armor. I'm going to have enough for a full set and then some. Actually, I think I'll make a waypoint just because uh, mining is not interesting. That's <laughs> like something I got from Iron Mouse. Um, uh, I like watching her play Minecraft asterisk. Like, if she's mining, I don't know. I guess I'll make an exception for Iron Mouse. I'll watch her do anything. <laughs> but, I'm gonna actually close that off. Something she said. She's like, I don't want to mine. I don't mine while I stream because that's boring. So maybe I'm just thinking about that. I don't want to be. I don't want to make boring videos. Oh, I heard something whiz by my ear. I'm probably getting shot by a skeleton. Yep. I don't know if my my armor must be like too strong so the arrows can't penetrate. Something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna make a waypoint here. Obsidian. Oh yeah, I put a waypoint for the underground obsidian. Let's make a. Uh, let's rename this. I don't need this waypoint. Um, edit this name. Surface Obsidian. Um, set waypoint to current location. Let's change the color to red. Perfect. I love the waypoints in this game, how they're in the HUD. Oh! Golem snuck up on me. I, d I didn't realize I was that low on health. Uh, okay, so the the death compass is working this time. Last time, last time I recorded. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh, oh my god. I was I, I was not expecting that. And there's this weird clock sound effect. I don't like that clock sound effect. I'm probably gonna switch the mod. Uh, the Death Compass mod to uh, Show Bones mod. I actually spent most of today 
um, I forked the show bones mod and was like teaching myself Lua Lua programming oh I don't have emerald boots I guess I can make some must have emerald boots yeah that clock is super annoying clock sound effect So the show bones mod just creates a waypoint on the player's bones. And I thought it would be so easy. I'd be like, oh, it'll be two hours. I'll, I'll spend two hours on this and uh, upgrade this mod, which is like, it, w it was some older code. And I think the code had some deprecation warnings. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll update the code and I'll remove some unnecessary features it'll take two hours, it'll take four hours, two hours, some, something low, but no, I spent like eight hours on it and still it's not done, so I guess that's just how programming goes sometimes. <clears throat> okay, so I'm crafting a glider. Oh, I don't need to craft one, I have one already. Oh, that's weird. It's like if the if the death compass is in my hot bar, it, hot bar, it makes the ticking or yeah, clock ticking sound. I don't need it. I don't need the death compass. I know where I died. Okay, I'm gonna take this armor because it's a dangerous world out there. I've got my glider. Um, do I have any rockets? Yes. I'll take these rockets. Take this helmet and don the armor so I'm fast uh, those emerald boots it's a must have must have emerald boots look how fast I am with emerald boots and I can jump so high okay what else do I need that's it let's go back and get my stuff boing surface obsidian three kilometers Man, I, I inhaled water like three times today. <laughs> it was so annoying. I don't know why. It's like getting pretty cold. <clears throat> getting pretty cold. Like uh, it was 65 in my apartment most of the day. My hands and feet were just so cold. I took a nap for like three hours after I finished working on Lua. And then I got up at like 11 p.m. and listed some cards on eBay like eBay has been so rough lately uh, sales have been plummeting for the past six months like every month it's just harder and harder to make a buck and so what I'm doing now is all the boxes of cards uh, I bumped the mic sorry um, cards uh, are, are sorted by set I sort them by set and I've been selling <clears throat> individual cards for a long time for 2.5 years and now it's like there's so few people buying singles so I'm I'm now um, see this size box this is a box full of 100 cards I'm removing the listings of single cards I'm losing altitude <laughs> ah! fell into a jungle okay um, let me eat some food so I don't die so I start regenerating health so I'm selling now bulk lots of 100 cards for a little more money and even then it's just there's so few people buying right now it's it's like the whole I don't know if you heard of the Magic the Gathering 30th anniversary thing um, where Magic the Gathering has been running for 30 years and so they're doing this big release of this set which is like the original cards from the first set but they're not tournament legal it's like a different card back so uh, yeah you can't use them in tournaments but they are like similar or they've they've altered the fronts of a lot of them anyway it's gonna cost a lot of money it's, it's gonna be $999 for this set and it's like three booster packs or some ridiculously small amount of cards for a thousand dollars 
and there's a huge community outburst outrage about this because they're like who is this for this is for like oil daddies nobody regular players can't afford that what is that piece of snow in the water oh i'm losing altitude okay used a rocket we're good <laughs> um where was it going with that oh yeah magic outrage who is it for oh yes uh I watched Rudy, Alpha Investments, talk about this sort of thing, and he said he listened to the the investor call from Wizards of the Coast, and they're talking about like how the community is perceiving this big event, and they're like, uh, our, uh, our customers are price sensitive right now. And yes, it's, I see that too. I see that in my eBay business, which consists of selling collectible trading cards on eBay. It's a bad business to be in right now I think uh, <laughs> I'm just oh, not doing good financially and uh, hopefully that changes in the coming months that was a cool island that I just flew over man I love flying on this I, I wish I could improve my connection or something so I don't have this rubber banding but anyway we are to the obsidian where's my bones Where's my bones? Okay, so punch my bones. Actually, uh, it helps to like move everything out of the inventory or to the end. So when I punch this and get my stuff back, everything goes back to where I'm used to having it. Yes, glider in position number one. <laughs> when I recorded a video yesterday and I jumped into the lava accidentally, well, that was not an accident. I didn't mean to do that. I I am very confident about quick switching to my glider and flying over lava but I just I picked the wrong place to fly over and there was not a uh, there was not a shoreline like I thought there was anyway let's do it again let's I'm on my sword got my sword out let's jump over the lava glider ah I'm safe glider I'm safe oh what's that is that a fire flower that is a fire flower I don't know what I could do with these yet, but they're just cool. It's like there's fire flowers in Mario, so it's cool to have a fire flower in mine test. I realize I don't have a shovel right now. Do I have a oh I have a backup shovel in my emergency supplies bag. I'm just curious about this fiery dirt. Is there something I can craft with this? I'm just gonna collect some of it. I love how fast this digs, this ruby axe, or ruby shovel, yeah. Okay, one more obsidian, and then I'm flying. Flying away. Oh, what's that? Ah! It looked like a small child, and I'm like, are you lost? Can I call someone for you? But no, it's like a sand skeleton. Oh yeah, so podcasts. I've been listening to so many podcasts. I started listening to this one. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I keep getting diverted. Uh, I listened to one today with Joe Rogan. Uh, Joe Rogan Experience, one of my favorite podcasts. Um, who was the guest? It was one of the one of the Navy pilots who witnessed a uh, UAP. Is that what they're calling it now? UAPs fascinating story. I've already heard the story on, because the same guest was on Lex Friedman months back. But it just never gets old. Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> that was some bizarre... I'm just not good connection today. But that happens with a wireless connection. Um, okay, then after that podcast, I started listening to Kanye West on Lex Friedman. And uh... I don't know a lot about Kanye. I did watch the Joe Rogan Experience Kanye podcast uh, like a year ago or something. But like five minutes in on Lex Friedman, I'm like, I love Kanye. I love Kanye, the way he thinks. Like the first five minutes he's talking, oh, that's cool. A little flip. Well, well, well. Can't really fly precisely with this network connectivity. Look at these floating islands. It would be cool to put a base up there. I'm lo losing altitude. Uh, mayday, mayday. Get the rockets out. Get the rockets out. Okay. We're okay. 
So Kanye was talking about, like, he he thinks uh, engineering should be the only thing taught in schools. Don't even teach history. Just teach engineering. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. That's like, I think I would have done better if engineering was the only thing taught in school. <laughs> I, I did not do good in school. I actually dropped out of high school. Um, yeah, that was not a good time for me. Where are we going? I don't even know where I'm going. I guess I'm, I just naturally flew towards the, the waypoint. Let's pick a random direction. We're just flying today. We're just flying in a random direction. Oh, maybe I should talk about slow roads since I haven't talked about slow roads this video. Slow roads is a s game, a chill driving game that I found through Hacker News. I'm not actually playing two games at once. Uh, <laughs> slow roads is just driving in autopilot. But actually, let me do. Let me actually play two games at once. Let me turn auto drive off. And now I'm driving and crashing. Look at look look at that. Don't put me <laughs> behind the wheel. <laughs> Don't put me behind the wheel. I will crash. Uh, <laughs> this car is kind of hard to control. I think. Oh, this scenery is really cool. I like that uh, that autumn looking, all those tree colors. It's really cool. I'm gonna crash again. I'm going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I love this game. It's just so chill. Not much to it. it. Like you can choose the different planet to be on, uh the different season and I'm going down. Autopilot take over. <laughs> Maybe in the future driving cars will be like this. I I could be in a car right now. I'm the driver. Or no, the car is driving. I'm getting tired. Uh, maybe maybe it's time to wrap this up. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. It's two in the morning. Cactus. Let me get some cactus. Can I get some of that cactus? I want to eat cactus. I was talking to my friend uh, Mindsforge the other day. Oh, oops. Flew straight into the cactus. I was talking to him about cactus because he lives in the desert. And I'm like, have you eaten cactus? And he showed me some pictures and uh, I think I need an axe to cut this. Maybe I'll just punch it. No? Maybe it requires an axe. Do I even have an axe? I do have an axe in my emergency supplies bag. Very nice. Okay, I got my cactus. And I want to eat some cactus. That's what I was getting at. And I think this is a good place to wrap up because I'm having trouble speaking because I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> um... Yep. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you later.